There's a saying, if you allow your passion to become your purpose, it will one day become your profession. Our job is to give people the opportunity at the fish of a lifetime. But on our days off, it's our turn. My favorite time to fish is on super low tides, negative tides that are created by the moon. And we don't see them a lot, so maybe a couple times, yeah, maybe a dozen times a year or so. But let me tell you, when that super low water gets back there, those fish get concentrated and they could be a lot of fun to catch. Around the time that tarpon season ends, we start looking at negative low tides. It's, it's one of the few things in fishing that you can actually predict. And all I think about is pothole fishing, low tides, tails, and fish pushing wakes. Look at this fish right here, wow, ran his ass off. Yeah, oh, they're, there we they're, go. they're oh. loaded in here, bud. Yeah. I knew based on the tide level, the wind conditions, and what tide we were gonna see on that low, it was gonna be an incredible day of fishing. Uh, so straight up ahead of us, we have these really big holes but on the edge of the holes, right where it gets really shallow with the grass, this fish is gonna be tailing right on the edge. And uh, they're munching on little grass shrimp, uh, little bait fish that come out of it. I've seen them scurry on the surface running from that. Right. Uh, but you're gonna be looking right on the edge of the holes. Now, with the overcast, you're not gonna be able to see the holes much. Right, you just have to read the water yes. in this situation. I mean, the holes will give themselves away a little bit. A school of redfish barreling down the flat towards you, if you happen to be on the bow, you better get it together. You better get it together quick. And you've got to compose yourself and you've got to realize that the right angle and the right cast is the only way that you're going to get bit. Uh, and you may only get the one shot. This is a moment where you just breathe lightly. Yeah, oh yeah. Okay, oh yeah. Come, come on, come on, come on. All right, you gotta lead him a little bit, I think, now. Or the paddle tail, yeah. I don't want this. Oh yeah. They should crush that. Yes, baby! That's what I'm talking about. Nice stick. Hey. Dude. I really wanted to see him eat that top water, but they didn't want hey, it. Hey, that's why you have the two ready. Yep. Dude, that is a stud too. <laughs> he's figuring out he's hooked right now. <laughs> he's figuring out what's going on. Uh... Dude, that was perfect execution on that. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. They wouldn't eat that top water? No, in the first cast, I mean, the first couple casts with that top water, I don't think I let them enough, like you said, but. But still, I mean, the way it came through and. This thing here had no chance, no choice but to eat it, you know? Oh yeah. Tell you what, if we were fishing in a tournament right now, I'd be doing jumping jacks on the front of this boat. Yeah. All right, there you go. Yeah, buddy. That is a perfect specimen. So, that's an upper slot, just perfect fish, isn't it? You're right, in tournament days, we'd be 
<laughs> all fired up about that one. That's seven, five, eight pounds. Yeah. Two of those, you just about go collect the check. Dude, that was perfect. And that's a great color too for this. It is, it's a really good little color. Little stained water. Mm -hmm. This is a molting pattern, I think. Yeah. Beautiful. Part man. of the wolf pack back here, buddy. That was cool. That was a, that was a beautiful thing, man. All right, I'm gonna release him. Yeah, go ahead. Go back and see your friends, buddy. It's gonna take him all day to find his boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're, they're 100 yards there behind us. Oh yeah, there, there he goes. goes. Right under the boat. Dude, nice work. It is quite simple to, as to why we want the low water for the game fish like redfish, snook, and trout. Basically, the water dumps out of certain areas, and those fish, they breathe water. They don't breathe air. So the lower the water gets, the lower they have to go, which in tune traps them in little areas that we get to access. It's a smaller area to have to search, and uh, those fish usually feed pretty heavily. Charlotte Harbor is a place I actually chose to come live uh, when I lived up in Ohio. You know, I just, one of the things that I like about Charlotte Harbor is it's an aquatic preserve, which tells me that there's no buildings, no houses that are gonna go on that body of water. And it's really kind of untapped as far as uh, the population kind of growing to the water. It has 150,000 square miles of fishable shorelines. So, needless to say, you could fish a long time and never fish the same waters. See him, he's eating that shrimp. Did you see him pale and chase that shrimp? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a shot, okay? Yeah. Go to those right side that's ones what if I'm, you can. That's what I'm gonna shoot at. Yes. You're there, bud. Short. Just, oh, 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 oh. oh, he's still there. He's still. I'm a You're little maybe left. a little behind him I'm there. Left. There he is. <laughs> Apparently this group was big enough. <laughs> there was a few more there we didn't see. <laughs> That's why you throw, right? That's freaking awesome. Oh, you're gonna wake up here on us. Oh, that was sick. That was sick. Look, his boys are right there with him. <laughs> he's got some friends, does he? Uh huh. Man, you got to keep their head up out of this grass. Yeah. That's how they beat That's it. what he's trying to do. He's, he's trying, trying to, to whoop that. me in that grass. He's a tank too, buddy. He's a pretty good one too. I was just about to say, I don't think he's as big as the first one, but that would be false. Yeah. They're almost like cookie cutters. All right. Coming at you. Yeah, man. Woo wee! Thanks. Dude, that's almost a match to the last uh, one. Look at that. Right in the, I mean, he's in the corner, but he's like in the jaw. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you could have caught him. He it. wasn't coming off. And you need pliers? No, I got it. Okay. I just had to. It was on a weird angle, too. But uh, yeah, man. And he was, he was kind of lagging behind the group. Look at that. That's a beautiful fish. <laughs> That is a beautiful red. I can see from this angle, he's thick. Oh yeah? Big old head. Yeah, we'd be thinking about breakfast right now. Well, we've done <laughs> deal, buddy. Come get you some. That's freaking awesome. Great fish, man. You're gonna make me get up on the plat falling platform now, aren't you? Uh-huh, certainly. Yeah. yeah. I think it's, it's my turn, right? My fun's over. Yeah. <laughs> so in that particular scenario, as much as I really don't want to get off the bow and catch tailing redfish, you know, it was Jay's turn. And I truthfully enjoy that stealth factor and pulling a boat, especially pulling a good friend up to fish like that. And uh, man, when he got on the bow, the opportunity arose and, and they got right really quick and it was really cool to see it. That a boy, Jay. Got him. Uh, oh, I think, I think I got something else. I think Mr. Trout got, or maybe a That's, snook. Could be a snook, yeah. That's a snook, snook, buddy. Power pole's down. Yeah, cool. So this happens a little bit more often than people think. The snook are opportunistic feeders, so many times they're sitting right with that group of redfish. Now the redfish have their face buried down in the grass. They're looking for the crabs and the shrimp, and, but that snook is always looking up at life. And you throw a bait anywhere close, and if that snook sees it, he's the first one to it, and sure enough. She gone. She gone. 
Turn, Tide, turn. Uh oh. I'm behind us again, right there, tailing hard. That's a meat pile of redfish right there, bud. Yeah, if you notice, the grass is starting to. That's the turn. happiest fish that you're ever going to see. They are chewing everything they it can find. It is simply a matter of them staying where they are for another 45 seconds. <laughs> That's as beautiful a sight as you oh. will see in shallow water red fishing. I'm really close to casting right here. Dude, you gotta be able to reach yeah. this, right? Yeah, you're easily there. Get him. Oh. Get him, that a boy. And they're still tailing right behind him. They don't even know what's going on. <laughs> that Good was job, awesome. Jay. That was awesome, dude. Keep doing what you're doing. That was beautiful. Hey, buddy. Straight up. Ooh. Son. Ooh, another pumpkin. Oh, yeah. Got him right in the meat right there, huh? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Sweet. How many you think was in that? A hundred? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, and it's hard happy. To tell. Yeah. Super, super happy. This has been quite the morning of red fishing, man. You know, wintertime out of the skiff is one of my favorite times to fish. Mm -hmm. You know, throwing plastics at them, it's, it's tough to beat. It really is. It is. Jay and I put this one on the calendar months in advance, and we were super excited about it. To watch it come together the way it did and catch those fish, it was really rewarding and really a, a good time on the water.